I'm feeling like super nervous right now and um, I'm really 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 just trying my best to just kind of like chill myself out and not overthink this um, <clears throat> This is something that I have been um, wanting to talk about for a while now, but to be really honest with you guys, um, it took me a very long time to kind of like come to terms with this with myself. So I didn't feel like I could really talk about this without feeling 100% about it on my end, you know? Um, <clears throat> I kind of just wanted to come on here and talk about something that I have experienced within the past year of my life and how much it's affected me. So there's different reasons why I decided to film this video, um, mainly just because I'm the type of person that like I just, I really really like to learn from my mistakes and just try to grow from them instead of like dwelling on them. Um, and I felt like me publicizing this and me sharing this with you, with you guys wouldn't, would, wouldn't just help me, but it would also help you guys. Um, because this is something serious and it's something that can literally happen to anybody no matter what. Like, and <clears throat> I don't know, I just feel like once I start getting into the story, you guys will kind of have more in it, more of an idea of what I'm talking about. But... With that being said, um, you know, I also wanted to film this video because I know this is going to help a lot of you guys. So I guess I'm just going to go ahead and start from the very, very beginning. So I, for those of you that do not know, have my breasts done. I am 445 cc's and I first got my breast augmentation in um, June, June 5th of 2017 to be exact um so it's literally just about to be a year <clears throat> within the next month literally um so wow that's that's crazy it's literally gonna be a year and i'm okay yeah anyway um this is just really frustrating for me you know you guys like and like <clears throat> the more i talk about it the more frustrated i get but I'm really just trying to not let it get to me, but <clears throat> it's a little difficult since I'm literally like telling you guys everything from the start. <clears throat> so I went and I got my consult done or whatever and everything was fine, you know. Um, I didn't really know much about surgery. I didn't know shit, so just kind of keep that in mind. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I, I went to my doctor's place and we set a date and that was that. <clears throat> I would say probably um, scheduled my appointment probably sometime in November and I scheduled it for June. So, you know, a couple months apart. Um, so finally June came and that was that. And I was extremely nervous to get surgery. Very, very nervous. Um, I think I was just more nervous of actually like being put to sleep or whatever. Um, like with the anesthesia. Uh, I was just scared of it feeling like I was dying. <laughs> if that makes sense. I was just really scared of just feeling like I couldn't breathe or something. <clears throat> so that's what I was really nervous about not even so much the surgery I was really excited about the surgery and um, so yeah you know that happened or whatever and I go and I get my surgery they put me under and um, I wake up and I'm fucking gone as shit like I just don't know what the fuck is going on I'm just like what like what what, what? and literally just like when I woke up I remember seeing my sister there and my mom and um, shout out to them I love them um, and I woke up and, um, <clears throat> I was laying there and I just felt a lot of pressure in my chest. It, it was, it was painful. I will say that it was just like, it just felt like somebody was sitting on my fucking boobs, like hella, hella, like a lot of pressure. And, um, I was just kind of, I was still pretty litty. So I, it wasn't too much pain. It was just more of the pressure. And then, um, you know whatever so i get home and um i'm recovering and stuff i felt like my recovery was a little bit difficult um just because i i'm so used to working and stuff <clears throat> and 
I wasn't able to work like I just felt very like uh, and like I was just really sore and like over the days over the first three days it felt like it was getting worse like the pain was getting worse it was just like a sucky ass feeling but I was just really excited to finally have boobs you know like I literally went from an A cup to a D cup so I was hella hype like hella hype and um so I, I was just kind of dealing with the pain. I remember I literally fucking had a meet and greet, um, I think a week later after my surgery. I don't know how the fuck I did that. I seriously don't know. I actually had these like some like surgical tape or something. There was like some sort of tape like on my boob. And I'm not sure if I ended up taking it off too late or if this if the tape was just too motherfucking sticky or some shit. But <clears throat> it literally like it got so bad when I took it off that it ripped my skin off. And I actually have some scarring um on my boob now because it literally like ripped my skin off and it was like a wound. It was like literally like a cut on my tit. And there was multiple, I would say there was like two here and maybe one big one here because they both had the tape around here. So I ended up getting that and then that sucked. Um, it had to heal. I had to fucking um, be shirtless and braless for a while. And, you know, in the beginning, it's not really good to be braless and stuff. So it was kind of difficult, but I had to air it out because it needed to scab up and stuff. So it was just like, it was just like a bunch of shit. I, I didn't have a fun recovery. It felt like I just didn't have a fun recovery. So when you're fresh out of surgery, you, you're pretty swollen for a good amount of time. Like you technically aren't fully healed until six months, six months to a year, I believe it is. I would say maybe like within that week, I when I first saw my boobs for the first time, like I was, I was honestly like just being straight the fuck up. I was happy but it just wasn't what i expected it to be does if that makes sense like i was expecting it to be way different than what it was um but i was just kind of like okay well calm down like don't start getting negative already you know this is me talking to myself in my head like uh, don't start getting negative already you know you're fresh out of surgery like you know you're still swollen this isn't how they're gonna look all the way I, it just felt like i just was kind of holding on to that thought since the very beginning and i would say maybe like about a month later um month later two months later uh you know i would look in the mirror and they still weren't looking how i wanted them to look and um it was starting to get me worried just because i was like okay i understand like you're not fully 100 percent healed until six months but it's been two months and i don't think i should be this swollen or i don't think it should look like this if that makes sense i never really like said anything to my mom or like said anything to anybody because i was just kind of like it's just you overreacting or i don't know like you're just so used to having small boobs that you don't know how it is to have big boobs you know what i mean so that's kind of like what i kept telling myself and stuff and you know like it a couple months passed by and like it's six months and stuff and at this at this point there's people on instagram you know commenting um oh my god you know i love your boobs i love your boobs like who, who'd you get them done with like oh my god oh my god oh my god you know positive shit and then i also got a lot of negative shit a lot of um why did they look like that or what's wrong with them or you know like things like that but the thing is when i would read that it would kind of bother me because i sort of understood what they meant but i was like no like no no no, no. like it's just haters like i'm not going to like let them change the way i think like like fuck that fuck that fuck that and like every single time people would leave those messages and stuff like i would literally go to the mirror and i would look and i would understand like what they what they meant but i didn't want to believe it because i just i you know like i'm better than that i'm better than that to, than to fall into hate you know what i mean i know i am and i knew i was at the moment as well so that's kind of like where my mindset was at and like it as months went by like it was just more comments and more comments and more comments and more comments and 
and um literally like it got to a point where i got curious you know and like i started to do my research and i started to just kind of like look at you know the show botched and look at fucking um you know botched jobs on fucking google and stuff and i started looking into um something something um I looked into um I looked into the term um uniboop and um I specifically uh, searched that because I had gotten a comment that was like oh like you know you have uniboob or like something like that it was something along the lines of that that was the first time that I had ever heard like an actual name like an actual like um something I can search instead of like oh they just look weird or oh they look different if that makes sense um I actually had something to like branch out so that's when I started to research more and I remember I had researched um, uniboob and I searched it up and um, you know it showed a lot of different cases and I actually searched for images and when I searched for images um, I clicked on it and I just kind of like my stomach just like dropped I, I remember <clears throat> I just remember feeling my stomach just like drop and hit like just it felt like it hit the fucking floor to be honest and I was just tripping because I was like fuck I was like this is what it is like this is what it is I looked at the pictures and it literally looked like my case like it looked like my scenario like my boobs you know they looked like that and that's when I started to kind of like, I, I just, I just remember breaking down, you know? So I was like, fuck, like, fuck, like they were, they were right. You know what I mean? Like it, it made, it instantly made me feel like so vulnerable, like so vulnerable because I was like, fuck, like they were right. You know what I mean? So that's when I just kind of like I just started to fucking look into it and like I remember having uh, conversations with my sister about it and um, you know they were my as well as my mom like they were both always just like you know no maybe like you're still not done healing like you shouldn't you know you shouldn't be assuming like you know you know just trying to be positive and like um Even until uh, recently, like, even until recently, uh, I didn't feel like I was fully convinced that I had semastia or um, uniboob as it's also called. It's just been a fucking mind game with myself and whether or not I want to get surgery again. Do I need it? Maybe I don't. Do I need it? Yes, no, yes, no. Like I've been in such in such constant confusion. Like this isn't something that's just plastic surgery to me. Like this is something that's me. You know what I mean? I'm one foot in and I'm one foot out. Like surgery is very scary to me at this point and I feel like I have definitely been traumatized because of my experience. But not until recently I decided to um, start making consultations and going to see doctors that will, you know, help me. And it started to get really difficult because at this point, my surgery isn't considered a breast augmentation surgery. At this point, it's a breast revision surgery. It's two completely different things and it's two completely different processes. So, you know, there's circumstances and there's things that you can and can't do, which means that you're you're less likely to have the results that you want. I finally um, went to a consult the other day. A surgeon talked to me and he pretty much explained to me everything and my problems and my issues and um, pretty much I'm just gonna tell you guys my issues um, point blank. I have semastia. Um, the doctor finally, you know, I guess you can say diagnosed me with semastia. And um, 
that is when you know the implants are too big and you know you have like no cleavage pretty much and um it just kind of looks like it's one boob and i'm kind of also dealing with um it almost feels like my implant is kind of like flipping a little bit um the placement is very off and it's uncomfortable and another issue that i am dealing with is how low they are they're extremely extremely low um my surgeon um he measured um from my collarbone to my nipple and normally for my age it should be about nine centimeters low and he measured about 13 centimeters low for me so that's extremely low um so we discussed everything we discussed why things happen the way they did and how we can fix them what we can't fix what we will be able to fix what i should expect what i shouldn't expect um you know he was very honest with me and i felt very comfortable with him and it it the one thing that i was scared of and the main reason why i feel like i was holding off seeing a new surgeon for revision was because i had done my research on you know how to fix the mastia and stuff and the revision and stuff and i had once read that you know you run the risk of um having to literally remove the implant current implants you have for a couple months literally anywhere from a month to six months um so that you know your skin can heal again and um you know shrink up and then so you're pretty much like fresh again for surgery um and that was one of the main reasons why i was kind of hesitant of seeing a doctor because i was really scared of i was really scared of him or her telling me that i would have to be without boobs for a while and he told me that i have the option of going straight into surgery literally just going in removing my implants putting new implants in and we're set to go or i deflate my saline implants and literally be boobless for a couple months he made this very clear to me he said you can do whatever you want to do and i'm going to leave this in your hands but i will say this the probability of like your outcome being a good outcome is better if you deflate if you drain out the saline the likelihood of you getting what you want is a little bit it's more realistic um now whereas if you were to go in straight away taking these implants out and placing new implants in you run the risk of not having um smooth cleavage and it, since it hasn't like gone back to my chest or it hasn't like healed up anything it'll be too loose and it's gonna be difficult to um you know create that cleavage since i am stretched out already obviously from these implants um so pretty much like in my head like when he told me that i was like fuck man fuck like fuck i just i couldn't even fucking think like i was just like fuck because obviously like in my head i already knew that the better option is obviously to drain my implants i knew that i decided that i am going to go ahead and move forward with draining my implants and i am not going to have them for about a month um just about a month possibly longer it's still just you know it just it just depends and i decided to pre-film this video and literally as you guys are watching this video i am currently getting drained right now I just didn't feel comfortable making this public before taking that step of getting my boobs drained just because I don't want to bring more attention to it and it always made me feel uncomfortable when people would look at my boobs and stuff and for so long I genuinely tried to be comfortable with it and um, one thing for sure is I always tried to be positive about it and I always made my boobs work. I always did my best to 
um, make myself feel good, you know? So I made them work, but it, it's at the point where I'm just very unhappy with them and I feel like I deserve to feel happy within myself and this is something that I'm doing to to bring more positivity in my life, you know? And it's, it's very hard for me, it's very hard for me to um, to even think about me going through surgery again, like, it's difficult, and, um, the reason why I made this video is just because I need, I need all of you guys to be informed, and, like, you guys just, just need to be careful when it comes to surgery, because surgery is something very, very serious, and, um, you know, it's not only like, you know, you could die from surgery and that's just point blank. You know, everybody knows that you could die. And um let alone that, like, you know, you can only imagine fucking waking up from surgery to something you don't want. That is honestly the worst feeling in the world. And that's not something I would ever wish upon anybody. Um But, you know, in my case, I'm fortunate enough to be able to get a, a revision and I know that there's some cases there's some people who save for years for a surgery like this you know what I mean you need to be sure of what you're doing um, and feel confident about it and if you don't feel 100% comfortable with your surgeon or whatever you need to go see another doctor one thing with me I feel that I was very quick to to agree with one doctor like literally i went to see a doctor and that was that you know what i mean i didn't go to see multiple doctors and that's something that you have to do when you're getting surgery i don't care how excited you are about it it's better for you to take longer to get your surgery and get something you love than rushing it and getting something you hate and having to get surgery again again that's the point that I'm at right now and like it's very difficult for me because I'm traumatized and like I genuinely am traumatized. I'm scared of my next surgery and I'm scared that I'm not gonna like it like I am scared like I don't want to wake up again and feel like I don't like it like what do I do after that you know what I mean like so I'm really nervous and um, you know, I hope when I look back at this and, or like when I'm recovering from surgery and stuff, I look back at this and just kind of like, I feel relief, you know, because like I'm, I'm feeling so stressed out now and I don't know the future. And I'm just trying to stay as optimistic as possible and like I, I'm putting my trust in my new surgeon and I trust him and um, I can only hope for the best and that's kind of all you know I can really say. It's just crazy and I'm using my experience to help you guys most importantly because I don't want any of you guys to go through this. I don't want any anybody to ever have to go through this. Just be cautious of who you get your surgery with and know what you're getting yourself into. Do your research. Is that the best option for you? Is there other alternatives? Like look into it and just take your time with it because it's something so serious that it's just, it can't be fucked with. It cannot be fucked with. As of right now, I am getting my breast implants um, drained and I am going to be um, documenting my experience for you guys. I am going to be keeping you guys updated um, as far as everything goes, you know, me being boobless and my new surgery. I'm excited, but I'm nervous, and that's just me being 100% real right now. And I feel like I'm finally just, I'm realizing it because literally right after this, I am going to sign the paper and schedule in my appointment to get my boob trained right after this video. 
So you guys, um, with that being said, I love you so much and I'm happy that I finally got this weight off my shoulders and um, you know, if you guys are dealing with something, it's just better to deal with it and try your best to push through it instead of trying to avoid it. So just stay strong. It's, it's difficult, but it can be done. I promise. Um, with that being said, you guys, I love you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.